Belenitis xerotica obliterans. It is a chronic atrophic mucocutaneous inflammation and uh, it affects the penile skin. And if it affects the urethra, it, it can cause uh, or it can result in a urethral stricture, which is quite bad. And uh, the foreskin area, it will be seen as a white uh, kind of a plaque. This uh, condition is uh, almost never seen in uh, people who have had uh, circumcision early in their life. The symptoms of this condition can be itching, burning sensation, soreness, and phimosis. Phimosis, that is the inability to retract the foreskin. So let's go into the histology, which is what we are interested in. So this is a very low kind of a power. And if we see, this area looks quite different from this area. And first we look into this area. This is the normal area. And if we go closer, we can see these projections. These, this is the epidermis, by the way. And these are the reti pegs and the, or the reti ridges. The reti pegs or the reti ridges of the epidermis. Those are the ones that you see there. So again, if you go to the low power and see this area, it is conspicuously absent. So there is no reti pegs here. So what we can understand from that is the epidermis here is atrophic. Another finding that we can see is here, the keratin layer is much more thicker here compared to this part. So we can say in this, con this is the affected part. So we'll be discussing about this part. I showed this area only for the comparison purpose. So at this low power, if we compare, we can see that here it is only a kind of normal keratos, kera keratin is present. But here there is hyperkeratosis. So there is a very thick layer of keratin there. So that is what we can see in the low power. So there is hyperkeratosis here. There is hyperkeratosis compared to a normal keratin here. Then there is an absence of rete here. That is, there is epidermal atrophies. Now we'll go to the higher power. So this is basically an inflammatory process as the name is lichen sclerosis of the penis or penile lichen sclerosis. So basically it is a lichen reaction and even here, if we look, we can see that there is in this uh, like node infiltrate. That is, the interface uh, dermatitis can be seen. The uh, the lymphocytes are infiltrating this area. Even here, we can see. I think, yeah, the the lymphocyte infiltrating this uh, uh, dermoepidermal junction and causing this interface uh, dermatitis and vascularizations. So there is interface dermatitis here. Then. What really happens is it starts off really as a kind of a interface dermatitis and then it goes down and as it moves down, it destroys the papillary dermis as well as the upper part of the reticular dermis. And as it destroys, uh, then it will cause the atrophy of this part. And once that reticular dermis and papillary, papillary dermis are atrophied, uh, those areas get replaced by thick collagen thick bundles of glassy collagen like a homogeneous kind of collagen we can see here as a very pink color so this is basically the whole area replaced by collagen after it is destroyed by the inflammation uh, which again we can see here in this part yeah yeah both place it is in but here we can see that band very clearly so here there is a inflammation and the dermoepidermal junction then there is a thick collagen bands and Another finding is the there is a band of lymphocytes, a band of lymphocytes that separates this collagen bundles from the underlying normal kind of dermis. So this is a, more of the uninvolved dermis is here. At this power, we can see that this is the uninvolved uninvolved dermis, and there is a band of lymphocytes that is separating this pink collagen and the dermis. So. It's, it's better to look at it at low power because we can see uh, we can see the hyperkeratosis we can see the atrophy of the epidermis then this uh, thick collagen uh, this deposition or kind of a glossy collagen there then this band of lymphocytes and then the dermis so this is what the histology of lichen 
sclerosis of the penis or uh, balnitis xerotica uh, obliterans also called as uh, BXO as a short and uh, interestingly this is more common in females and in that case it is called lichen sclerosis and uh, it is mostly affecting the perineum of uh, women and uh, if it affects the males it is usually penis and it's uh, called BXO uh, another thing is it is it can also affect other areas like abdomen so that is it uh, this is all about BXO.